What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ. And Mike. And Tyler. And this monthly top 10 video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Our 12th of this calendar sports year. It is LB Top 10 here for May. We have got a bunch of different sports here to highlight. It's our last of the year, so let's enjoy this one. We start, as always, with number 10. Let's go to Blair Field, where we had a fantastic spring. So did the Millican Rams. And here, Millican's Jonathan Conroy tracks down this foul ball, not only the run, but hit a bump and take a dive. It is not a Jonathan Conroy top catch unless he loses the lid. Now, the run does score on the play, but that is a heck of a catch. Yeah, readjust that cap. What a grab to start this off. Nothing could be finer than to be the number nine er. We obviously have told you plenty about the track rabbits, but we're going to hear about some field rabbits. First up, uh, Vincent Calhoun, the high jumper for Long Beach Poly. He's just a junior, and he brought home a CIF championship with a leap of six foot nine. My goodness. That's all he needed. That was light work. Also on the field, Destiny Talalemotu from Milliken. Now here in the shot put, going to come up a little bit short. She was leading up until the last throw. A little bit of disappointment, but she would redeem herself, fellas. Well, yeah, she goes to the discus. She's trailing, and then on her her last throw, she passes everybody up to take the gold. Tell whichever Hollywood hack writer puts these things together, a little too obvious. <laughs> a great day for Destiny and for Calhoun. Not as many field participants from the Moore League this year, but still a fine showing. Market 8, dude, we stay on the track. Bayron Manuel from Wilson, standing next to Masana Viltz from Milliken. Some more league flavor in this race, and Manuel gonna burst onto the scene. You see him right in the middle, hitting a couple hurdles, but that's not gonna slow him down. He's gonna best the field and win a CIF championship, very new to the hurdling game, but a business handler at Mount Sac. Wilson's first individual CIF championship since 95. Viltz would go on to take silver at state. These two are gonna be really fun to watch next season. They're both just Juniors right now. Slap hands, celebrate there. We go to lucky number 11, back to Milliken Baseball, back to Blair Field. Another diving catch. This one's from Ernie Sierra. Love the reference, JJ, and that is a heck of a catch. <laughs> diving in center, but he's less impressed than we are. Uh, shrug it. Pick six, it's actually a pretty easy choice. The king of pain, Lakewood's Jacob Orozco. We mentioned Manuel had some history for Wilson. Orozco, on this day, wins Wilson's, uh, Lakewood, excuse me, first CIF championship, individual track championship in 30 years, and he does it with a thrilling come-from-behind win in the 800. That's, that's just how he does. He does it with the kill. <laughs> As he comes down, he's middle of the pack, but he says, nah, turns on the Jets, and you're not catching him. You might think you're going to catch him, but no, he's going to duck it out right at the end. Like a true Prefontaine fan, he gets the win and then celebrates just as hard. He definitely knows how to work through the pain, and he earned that championship. I got five on it. As we go to some boys tennis, Wilson against Vista Marietta in this playoff run, the Bruins were a lot of fun to watch. They hadn't been to the semifinals in 30 years, had never made a finals, came up just short of making it to the last match, but a great semifinal run, and there's a lot of great pieces coming back next year. Boy, we had a lot of fun in that heat watching these boys play. Fantastic Four, we gotta do this thing, let's kick it off our last Jordan Bell dunk highlight that we're ever going to have in a Gazette sports video unless he comes back to the pyramid as part of the Oregon men's basketball team. The Ball is Life Slam dunk contest at LBCC. JB doing his thing one last time in Long Beach. The Skywalker loved those nicknames on the back of the jersey and yeah, it's got to be the windmill. Now that was a perfect 40 for 40. Wasn't able to move as deep as he's accustomed to in these dunk contests, but one last tight windmill from JB. That's textbook. It was quixotic. We go to number three, <laughs> Long Beach Softball. How about it? The Moore League in the semifinal of Division Two. Lakewood at Milliken. These two teams have played some great games over the years. We were waiting for a team to finally get to the championship. The whole city showed out. Somebody's going. And it came on some fantastic defensive plays. The turn up was super real at Milliken. And Jessica Scroggins, uh, amazing defense out in center. She's been covering so much ground there and on the base pass blow a kiss to the fans and the haters alike and she wasn't the only one playing good defense Alexis Carrillo over at short that's a heck of a stop in the force at second Lancers moved on and winning it with their defense oh yeah the super sophomore there making a great play nice call at second yeah they would go on to the championship game and fall there but still a great season for local softball and two Brutus Obviously, Ariana Washington has been in plenty of our highlights, and uh, it's because she just keeps winning championships. You've got to uh, recognize real, and she once again 
doubled up in the 100 and the 200 at the CIF Championship uh, with a wind-aided time in the 100 of 11.2, just .06 off the national record. She definitely put people on notice for life, for next year. And she was just as surprised as everyone was. That time came across. A lot of oohs and ahs in the stands. You don't often see a number that low. Part of a great day for Polly Track at Mount Sac. And we all know that leads to a sixth straight title for those Track Rabbits. Congratulations, ladies. Last play on the board. Ah. Am number one as we go to Lakewood's J.P. Crawford at Blair Field. Oh my goodness, this was defensive play of the year, fellas. Up the middle, that's not a run. That's going to be an amazing play to get the runner at second, and he's turned for good reason. Oh my goodness, that is unbelievable. Up the middle, the dive is impressive enough, but then the scoop is just right on point. Somebody draft that guy. Oh wait, they, they just did. Hey, way to go. Yeah, J.P. Crawford just as excited there perhaps as when he was taken 16th about an hour before we recorded this highlight by the Philadelphia Phillies. This is hashtag LB Top 10. If you see a play, put it out there and let them know you want it on the Top 10 videos here at GazetteSports.com. That's going to be our last of the 2012-2013 sports calendar. We'll have plenty more highlights and highlight videos coming at you next season. So stick right here because this is GazetteSports.com and we are Long Beach Sports.